is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the terrific Tuesday, the October 19th edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We need not make that one little two by four shift means we can find a gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead and send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question, and, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow is up by 167. The S&P 31. NASDAQ 100, 101. Russell's up 15. Semi's up 40. Tranny's up 27. The uh, New York Stock Exchange up 122 points. Gold's up three bucks. Silver up 63 pennies. Light three crude up a buck 18. Oh boy. What is going on with that system? Sorry about that. I see you guys are looking at a blank screen. That's not going to help you out a whole lot. Stevie will get this uh, figured out. Remember, that was happening for you. That was a that screen was to tell you, hey, maybe go take a jog along the uh, ocean out there. I guess that's what it was telling you. But now you can see what's going on. You got the spot politics off 55 pennies, well below its 50-day exponential moving average. Always puts the wind at the back of the S&P 500. Uh, lead the charge dollar-wise to the upside. We've got Shopify. That's 29 bucks. Mercado Libre. 15, ServiceNow 15, Solar Edge 15, and Google is up about 15 as well. To the downside, it's Alta Beauty down 6.5%, 26 bucks. ATA Phar Pharmaceuticals, 25 bucks, 62%. Yikes. Booking Holdings down 25, Silvergate Capital down 19, that's 12%. Amazon off about a half percent, or around 18 buckaroonies. So let's begin by what do we want to do? Let's begin by, uh, I'm going to try to change screens here again. But let's look at the uh, eight panel charts for the equity future contracts out here. They're going to have different messages for different time frames, but that's okay. We'll take a look at each of those. So let's begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. Okay, we've got that going. So what do we know? We know if we take a look at the uh, very left-hand panel, that's the monthly time frame chart, price above that green oscillator and change line, 43.09, even though it has a confirmed Rogeman to indicator signal from last month, when it generated a bearish reversal candle, the signal is really neutral to bullish out there. Price has to close below that green oscillator and change line to suggest at least some further retracement out there. Much like the uh, weekly chart, price is below the oscillator and change line. Very likely, price is going to go target that 45.53 level out there. If we look at the daily time frame, today is going to become bar number four. It is in an A to B equals CD pattern. It's not shown here. It'll be shown on my other charts out there. So that looks bullish. If we take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart, I attempting to form a dark cloud cover. It's only 110. It's got 20 more minutes to go. Uh, price is still holding that green oscillator and change line out there. If price were to close below that level, and that's at about the 4507 area, that would suggest a pullback to 4502, perhaps 4497, even 4494 out there. But that's not going to take place unless price closes below that green oscillator and change line. But look at a 60-minute chart here. Let me pull things back just a tad. 
a potential for a topping signal over the hour, but that won't be till about 2 o'clock. The 120-minute chart says, I don't know what you guys are thinking. I'm moving higher, as does the 240, as does the 5-hour time frame chart. So what this is really suggesting here is intraday, 30-minute and 60-minute. We might have a little bit of a timeout, uh, but the other charts are saying uh, don't get too caught up into that timeout because price wants to continue to move higher. At least that's the message for the ES Mini. Let's go take a look at the message of the NQ out here. And if we take a look at the NQ charts, uh, is this it? Yep, this should be it. In the upper left-hand corner, as soon as this populates, you'll see a TD9 count, a roads momentum indicator top on a monthly basis. That was for the month of September. However, October said, I don't know what you guys are thinking about because I haven't closed below Stevie's green line. Therefore, its message is neutral to bullish out here. The NQ, much like the ES, in the case of the NQ, it's got a confirmed roads momentum indicator indicator top price moving higher that's what the daily time frame tells me where's the price target well in the weekly chart it says about 15 582 that is the oscillator and change line there's an a to b equals cd to the upside inside the nq so if there were to be a bullish re or bearish reversal candle that would confirm a gartley sell pattern but short of that price will continue higher we're in day number four of a td9 count so we're ways off from that taking place out here much like the 30 minute chart for the es the nq also attempting to form a uh, roads momentum indicator top up. And if it does that, price should find support at 15 to 347.75. The 30 minute chart has a bearish structured profile. Price closed above it a couple hours ago. That is a very bullish signal. On any kind of retracements, counter trend type move where price typically finds support is at the center of a bearish structured profile when price is closed above it. Now, I know that's a mouthful. Hopefully, I said it correctly. I believe that I did. And that says 15,347 should be support on any kind of a pullback. 60-minute chart says, eh, don't know what you're thinking. Maybe 15,359 would be support. The 120-minute, just like the 240 and the five-hour chart, so very much like the setup on the ES says, hey, maybe we have a little bit of a of a intraday uh, pull back out here, but don't get too caught up into it because the other charts are saying don't want any part of that as they want to continue to move higher. Let's go take a look at the Russell 2000 equity future contracts out here. Now, in the case of the Russell 2000, she's just in one big consolidation sideways. All you have to do is really take a look at the weekly time frame. You can see that sideways movement. You're in a sideways movement. These are difficult markets to trade in. The Russell even more difficult, I would say, than the others out here. But what kind of signal do we have? Well, if we take a look at the five-hour time frame chart. It's got a TD9 count. Top of this in place out here. Uh, price would need to take that high out. That high out that it would need to close above. This is on the five-hour time frame chart. To get its bullishness back would be 22.93. Got a TD9 count on the 240. This is suggesting, now this is in a bullish structured profile. And this is really suggesting that the Russell 2000 wants to make a run to the 22.98 level. That's the top of its profile. The 120 minute time frame chart says 2286.40. That's a key level of resistance. Other than that, I don't have anything else. Let me pull the uh, window back. So, on the 30 minute chart out here, there was an A to B equals CD pattern that formed. It completed at 8 o'clock this morning. And price did what, what it was supposed to do, which was pull back to its breakout level. That was at 2260.90 out there. So, support has held. Real quickly, before we go to the break, let's put up the uh, Dow Equity Future contract charts out here. What do we have? We've got no topping signal at all on the monthly time frame. We don't have a topping signal on the, um, well, we do on the weekly. There was a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. And any close above that high, that high being 35,547, says it's off to the races out there. Now, remember, the races would be the top of the consolidation. And it's the Dow that's going to be the first one or should be the first one up to the top of that consolidation. Not shown on these charts. I've shown those to you pretty much each and every day. I'll do that again. But first, we get back to this break. We've got a couple of questions that have come in. I want to go ahead and get to that. Uh, those are coming in from Hector and Michael. Steve Rhodes with TFNM. Love to hear from you as well. We'll be back in just a few. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we've got a caller on the line. Let's go out to Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Uh, how are you doing today, this morning? I'm doing great, Steve. We're having Excellent. a beautiful fall day here. Got in a nice little bike ride, and I thought I'd call you. Ah, perfect. That's great. So we're going to take a look at PaySafe Limited, trading right now at 817, above the top of its uh, daily profile. Uh, tell me what you're doing here and how I can best help you. I can't take credit for finding this one. That was somebody else. I think emailed you, or I believe that's how it was done. It was uh, take, a few it's days a team ago. effort here. It's a team effort at TFNN. Yeah, so I I bought into this this morning at the open. I, I have uh, I just bought calls, eight dollar calls. And so I just yeah would like your opinion as far as you know stuff to watch to the upside. And I know if you have a gap there that looks like around mid August, it came down with some volume, but just yeah, I have to take a look at it. Got it, got it. So, I th and I, I see that gap that you're referring to. That was a trading session of August the 16th, folks. That uh, this equity moved down with about 43 million shares. But the the good news today, Brent, is that uh, price is taking out a B point of an A to B equals CD. That's a trading day of October 15th, which did volume of 5.7 million. You're already at 4.7. So this is going to confirm an A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, the retracement on this instrument was uh, about a 0 0.382. The exact number was 39.32%. So a very shallow retracement. What this suggests to you and I, Brent, is that price will make more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the upside. I'm going to expand out the daily time frame chart out here. And uh, was that the daily? Yeah, it was the daily. And uh, where did my gap go? Interesting. This is strange. In any event, uh, I'm again, take a look at the daily time frame. And this suggests to both you and I, oh, I know, that was the, uh, that day was the, uh, was it, uh, may have been his IPO day, Brent, I think was August 16th out there. So I, I like this here. So the setup should take you to 878. 
But because it's only 0.382 retracement, we're likely than that 910 or 950 would be its target. Now, if we take a look at the weekly set of profiles out here, give me a moment to try to do that. Um, that says 1085 before you deal with resistance because price is below that. So on this chart here with regard to the A to B equals CD pattern for the daily time frame, any questions about that so far? No, I don't think so. I mean, you can look on your white background chart. I think we're in day five, I believe, on the TD count. You, you are absolutely correct on this. Uh, today should form bar number five. Now, the other positive today, Brent, is that price is taking out or appears to be taking out its TD9 breakdown resistance level. And that's at 798. So this did form both a TD9 count bottom and a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom. It did that about four or five trading sessions ago. So close above 798 here, Brent, would suggest that price would move up to 907. So it's really falling in line with what we looked at on the uh, daily A to B equals CD pattern. So this looks good out here. And uh, it hasn't traded enough for me to really get good, clear signals on the weekly time frame. Uh, so it looks like a great trade. It looks like it wants to trade higher out there. Is there, is there anything else with regard to PSFE that I can provide for you? I think that's it. I appreciate you doing that, Steve. That gives me some level to be watching. And that's what I was looking for. As always, you, you came through with what I was trying to uh, <laughs> identify. You took care of it for me. I appreciate it. Perfect. Well, glad you had a, a good bike ride. I'm going to get mine in today at 4 o'clock. The weather's starting to turn nice down here. October's really a, October, November is usually a great time. And I think we still have a breeze coming a little bit from the north. So uh, I'll look forward to my bike ride. And, Brent, I'll look forward to speaking to you again in the future. That sounds great. Thank you so much. Do you have yourself a great day and enjoy your bike ride. You bet. That was Brent in Martinez, California. We had a question come in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wanted to take a look at AMT out there. Oh, we've got a caller on the line. My apology. Uh, we do have call ahead seating here and they have priority. So we're going to go out to Earl. Earl in Seminole, I believe. Earl, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Growling and prowling. Perfect. That's what we like to have our tigers and tigresses doing. And you want to take a look at Cummings Inc., I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, CMI. Yeah, so tell us what you're doing, how I can best help you. Uh, looking for a possible entry. Possible entry. So right now, as we take a look at this, uh, price is trading above the top of its daily profile. That's a uh, bullish sign. That's 238.48. It's trading right now above the top of its weekly profile, which is up at the 239 level. So this suggests that over time, what price should do is perhaps go target the top of its monthly profile. So your target out here, Earl, is going to be 269.35. Now, let's pull Cummings, get the white background chart, see if we can see any kind of topping signals or anything. And I don't have any such clue of a top out here on the daily time frame. So what we can see is that uh, two trading sessions ago, three trading sessions ago, this little Stevie green red line, the oscillator and change line changed color. So what that tells us is that over the coming sessions, price and that line should catch up to each other. That would be a buy point. Now that line is priced at 234. 13. As price moves up and down, that level will change. But that would be the first level that I would take a look at uh, on a retracement. Don't know if we're going to have a retracement just yet. We'll continue to look at a 30-minute chart. On a weekly basis, out here, as I mentioned, price was trading above, slightly above the top of its uh, day, a weekly profile. And it's also going to change on both of those two things would be a bullish outcome and suggest higher price. So the question is, do we see any kind of a top out here that Earl can get in in some type of retracement? On a 30-minute time frame, it looks like uh, bar number eight is going to complete at 130. And that says there's the potential for a TD9 count top that could form Earl by about between 2 and 2.30. And if it does, that could set up the retracement. Uh, there's been really small bodied candles out here, so I can't confirm just yet whether or not this TD9 count pattern is going to complete or not. It really depends on how price trades during the next hour or so. But that's got some potential. And then a pullback. Now, if price did pull back from there, this is suggesting to us that the uh, entry area would be about 2.36 even Steven. So we've given you two levels to look at, 236 and 234.13. Uh, those would be the levels to enter into Cummings on a retracement. If you want to trade it as a momentum move out here, I'd still wait to see how this 30-minute chart uh, plays out. But other than that, I don't have a, a better entry level for you to get into in Cummings, Inc. Uh, any questions uh, about what I've shared with you so far? Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you, what was that price that it might hit in the next 30 minutes or whatever well no well no 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 so in the next 30 minutes it might create a topping pattern uh that oh, okay. would become 
So so that would be by 2 o'clock would be bar number 9. By 2.30, that's when the pattern should complete out there. But it's it's because these are small-bodied candles, bars 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, any, it, could, it, could, it could totally negate. The pattern may not form. So I... You know, I'm just giving you the best thing. If it does form, though, that's when it would suggest that price could pull back to 237.48, maybe even 236. So that's your range right now for an entry into Cummings. That's exactly what I was looking for. Perfect. Let's see if uh, let's see if the chart uh, will behave and uh, and help you get that. So uh, well, anything I, else I could it, go ahead? Yeah, I trade Cummings a lot, and it okay. seems like it has a real hard time getting over. The area where it is right now. Well, so what I can share with you there is that, uh, and, and you are right. So if we take a look at Cummings, on the trading day of October 14th, close above the top of the profile, daily that is, the very next day back below. And that's why I've got this little two-bar, two, uh, uh, two consecutive closes above resistance or two consecutive closes below support to confirm that. So if you get another close tomorrow above 238.48, this time will be different than the other times that you were looking at and suggest to run up to the 269 level. Okay, Earl? Thanks a lot, Steve. You bet. That was Earl and Seminole. Folks, I'd love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, October is the uh, month of the Grand Slam. I'm not talking about Denny's breakfast or anything out there, but how about those Boston Red Sox? Three Grand Slams in just the uh, last uh, two days out there. Speaking of Grand Slams, we're going to go out to one of the guys in the Tigers' den that hits plenty of Grand Slams, and that is John. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? Uh-oh, do we have John? Steve, you uh, you just uh, appeared. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. And I think you're calling about Light Sweet Crude. And uh, tell the folks uh, what you're doing and how I can best help you. Uh, Steve, uh, I'm calling to ask for your help navigating the rally phase. Okay. Just, um, just by way of background, I have uh, traded virtually exclusively betting on higher prices since, oh, I think it was November of last year. Uh, back in July, price made a high at, uh, what was it, um, 77, I think, so, yeah, 76.90, which, which hits and temporarily stalled at the 2014 peak. Okay. Uh, we we uh, corrected. Uh, we had a, a good setback and then a muckety muck sideways range for a good, good, good number of weeks. And then, of course, we busted above that, the 77 mark, that is. Yes. And, Steve, since we uh, moved above 77, I, I, I continue to trade the long side exclusively always respecting the fact that the higher we go, the more prone we are to short-term setbacks. Uh, with uh, two targets that I had in mind, one, one was 81. That was just a FIB 1272 expansion mark. And then the next one was 8650, a uh, FIB 1618 expansion mark. Uh, so that is what I've been doing with those target levels in mind. Most recently, I bought it this morning, or I traded it super aggressively intraday yes. on that sell-off that uh, occurred simultaneous with the release of the industrial production data. Yes. I, I do not know yet whether the selling was, well, was precipitated by that data, but the sell-off and that data release occurred kind of simultaneously. So here we are. We're back to the highs. Can you share with us uh, your facts and figures that give us uh, parameters upon which we can use in looking for uh, levels from which the crude oil might top very short term and suffer setbacks? And the idea I'm looking for is to find numbers uh, in my back pocket to use if I'm long to take profits against should we rally to them. Okay, excellent, excellent question. Uh, with regard to this morning, though, and a nice, uh, nice buy uh, earlier this morning, at about uh, seven o'clock this morning, there was a TD nine count pattern on this hourly chart that had formed. That was indicating we would see some kind of a top. I imagine that those numbers were released at about uh, eight or nine o'clock this morning. And, Correct. Uh, yeah, and, and we can see that what price did here, folks, so the 60-minute the time frame had the best uh, signal uh, from a, for a, at least a short-term top, and then price pulled right back to where it had broken out from, 81.12 to 81.27. So a nice move there. Price right now is dealing with the top of its 60-minute profile, John. It closed above it as we came out to the 130 time frame, and that top of that profile, just to be short-term-wise, uh, to be looking as 8270. So if we get two consecutive closes above that, that is a positive. But back to the bigger picture here. And now the bigger picture, as far as levels to be taken a look at, well, first the 8650 level, that is in essence the high from October of 2018. So that is a natural place where you could find some resistance. We're not that far away from that, about four bucks or less than four dollars. If price is able to take that level out, in the daily chart right now, John, there's a new profile that formed yesterday, and price is trading above that. And that's a very bullish sign. Now, not just trading above it, but closing above it. So a close today above 82.36 would be a positive. Tomorrow, another close above it would be another positive. And from a profile standpoint, what you were asking for, if price can clear those levels, then we'd be looking at 91.41. And 91.41 is the top of the quarterly profile. 
Now, if I take a look at this, and this is a very bottom right-hand panel chart that we're looking at, folks. If we take a look at these quarterly profiles coming back into April of 2011, where price was just trading sideways within a consolidation, where it ran into resistance, was the top of that profile. Uh, so we want to respect that, 91.41. If price can clear that, John, Boy, then what are we taking a look at out here? You know, then I'm probably just coming back into those 2011 type swing point areas and the 140 ish type range out there. So that's what these, before I pull over any other charts, and I'll go to our eight panel charts out here. Do you have any questions about these charts or any of the uh, information that it's providing us? Uh, one question on those I'm looking in Tiger TV now, Steve. The profiles. Are those derived with the nearest futures uh, just so it accounts for the fact that the lead contract has just rolled from November to December? So the answer to your question is uh, what this set of tools is showing us is my synthetic version of the contract where I stitch together each of those future contracts, which provide us with clear, longer-term profile levels to take a look at. Versus Got it. Using, I understand. Example, right. Uh, you answered yeah. the question. I understand. Go ahead. Yeah. Now, if I just pull over the December contract, which we've just rolled to on a daily time frame, there's no new profile or anything even in place here. It's just an A to B equals CD to the upside. It says 83.40 is next, and above that, 87.30. Uh, so let's go switch over and take a look at our eight panel chart out here. And the reason we want to take a look at that is because this also provides us with information. And the information here I'm going to open up. Now, this is a continuous contract. I can't do the same synthetic version on my Ninja Trader that I can on eSignal. But that being said out here, John, and take a look at the longer term chart out here, this topped with a TD9 count right around that July time frame. It might have, in fact, been July. But let me see when that exactly was. So lo and behold, that was July. So as you had mentioned, uh, uh, Light Sweet Crude rallied up into July where it hit some prior swing points, backed off. But the back off never broke any levels of support. And now what we're dealing with on a monthly basis, even though it's only the 19th, is prices trading above that TD9 count. That suggests the next higher level, assuming that these other resistance levels that you have already identified fail, then your next price target, and that's above the quarterly level, would be 106.09. And that comes from the monthly TD9 breakdown level out there. Any questions about this chart? I got it, Steve. All very helpful. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So now if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here, this is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. And what we know is that bar number eight, nine, or the bar following nine can be the high. So we can also see that price is stretched, meaning it's got a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that has been triggered. So what I would be waiting for here is some type of bearish reversal candle to confirm a short-term top that would then take price back to 77 to 58. But in lieu of that, price could continue higher for the next two weeks and not negate or create any problems with that TD9 count pattern. Any questions about the weekly chart? Nope, it's all very good. Perfect. The daily chart yesterday formed bar number nine of a TD9 count. Price back off this morning. In addition to the levels we looked at on the 60-minute chart, right back to that green oscillator and change line. And uh, so that says, uh, well, we're going to a hard break here, John. Uh, if you'd like to hold on, you're welcome to. I'll certainly finish up the review of the Light Sweet Crude charts. Uh, that's your, your, your option out there. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN with John and Philly. And we'll come back and finish off Take a look at Light Sweet Crude. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We got the December contract for Lightspeed Crew with a daily time frame up on our chart out here. We can see ever since price closed uh, or bottomed on August 23rd, uh, really was uh, the trading day of August 24th when price got above Stevie's oscillator and change line. Look at how price has just danced above it. We've had one close below that level. That was on September 9th. But then the very next day, price was back above it. The reason to have at least a two bar confirmation of a break of support or resistance. So, John, that's also and there, there's been two other TD9 count tops that have formed out here uh, since that move. Each of them have just led to a sideways move, a test of the oscillator and change line. And then price simply resumed higher. That first one was back on the trading day of September. Third, the second one that took place on October 6th, and uh, the third one really yesterday slash today. So you're going to watch that oscillator and change line. I would say, John, if you saw two consecutive closes below that level, currently is printed at 81.19. That would then be a signal of a retracement. That retracement in this uh, instance could pull back to 74.67. So the daily time frame chart says uh, we should anticipate some type of pause and sideways move. As long as price holds that oscillator and change line, then the resumption to those higher prices that we looked at should unfold out there. So I hope that that helps you out. Uh, thanks so much for um, calling. And uh, he also had a question. Uh, let me get over to a different set of uh, charts out here. Well, let me get this uh, screen thing all set up here. And uh, John had also asked about, I believe it was Conical Phillips, COP. If I'm not, yeah, yeah, COP. So let me get to my other white background charts out here, get something going there. So we'll get COP, Conical Phillips, and also go ahead and get this pulled up on our black background chart. Just looking for those daily, weekly, and uh, monthly profiles. So here we're going to see that Conical Phillips is trading aware. It's trading above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profile. So what is this channel line that I've got drawn in here on the weekly? Just curious out here, John. So can't remember when I last drew this, but it's been a while because this has been manually drawn in there. So uh, you probably identified this as well. So Conoco Phillips. Uh, right up to its descending trend line. So if you can clear that, that would be a positive as well. Let's go see if there's any other signals on the COP charts as price hits that potential resistance. Well, we know it's a resistance level. That's very clear. The question is, is price going to hold this level? So as price has gotten up to that little trend line, well, John will like this. I've got wave number seven. That's letter G out here. We know that that can be a top. 
Uh, prices triggered a road's momentum indicator signal. That's not an issue unless a bearish reversal candle were to form out here. So, yeah, this has potential uh, signals. Yeah, that was for peak G, who used to be peak D, but he was kind enough to change that to that uh, seventh peak out here. So you're in that seventh peak uh, inside of ConocoPhillips on the daily time frame. Just says uh, be careful out here. And as we take a look at that uh, weekly time frame, we populate it. What do we have? In the case of the weekly time frame, price is also up at a resistance level where it appears to be. 74.19. No, it's above that. So that's a positive, but it's getting back to resistance, which is, uh, let me get, this is a uh, weekly chart. Give me a moment here. Getting back to the week of October 5th, uh, that was in 2018. So price is getting back to those levels. That's where price needs to clear 80.24. Uh, so you're, you're heading up to resistance. you got wave number seven on the uh, daily time frame, um, the weekly up towards the resistance level. You've got the descending trend line out here. So I'm just going to say as your pilot, just simply fasten your seatbelts out here, not to exit the position. Um, but I would say what ConocoPhillips is suggesting is that the TD9 count that says at least a sideways move for it in lights we crude, we should see maybe something similar inside of ConocoPhillips. So hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for the call again. Now let's get to Hector and Patty's uh, question out here, which was about AMT. And as we take a look at that as American Tower Corp, AMT right now, this had formed a uh, several bottoms out here. Hector and uh, Patty went long. What you like about today's action so far, Hector, and Hector's question is basically uh can you provide revisit amt uh what are the a to b equals cd patterns and anything else telling us out here so an a to b equals cd pattern inside on the on american tower out here the a point you're going to use is the low from that hammer candle on the trading day of october 13th the b point is going to be the high of october 15th and the c point is going to be the low of the following session october the 18th so the one-to-one -one price level out here for American Tower would get you to 278.99. Much like I believe it might have been Brent and I, we were taking a look at an A to B equals CD pattern, and there's only a 0.382 retracement or thereabouts. Same situation here. The actual retracement is 37%. This suggests more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD to the upside. So targets, one-to-one, -to -one, 278, 279. The second target, the 1.272 expansion, 282. The third target, 286. Now, what price is doing, that's the good news. Bad news, if there is any bad news, is what price is trying to do is get back inside its weekly profile. Now, what we don't know out here, Hector and Patty, is this just a counter trend move? The reason that I even bring that up is because we can see that price had closed for three weeks below the bottom of its weekly bullish structured profile out there. So if this is just a counter trend move, you should anticipate that price is going to stall out around the 283.62 level. Don't use it right to the penny. It can happen to the penny, but don't use right to the penny. And if price can close above that, then it's a different message. That it says, okay, no counter trend rally. So you're going to want to watch the daily chart. You're going to watch for the uh, potential uh, A to B equals CD pattern to complete. And what CB means by that is you would wait to see some type of bearish reversal candle. If that's happening simultaneously as price is getting up towards that 283 level, then I would probably exit my position because it, it would not have proven itself to us that it's not a counter trend move out there. So that's how I would take a look at AMAT. You're in bar number six of a TD9 count as we pull over the daily time frame chart for it. Um, that says this pattern could top uh let's say six seven eight nine you know we're, we're taking a look at today's tuesday so thursday to monday of next week uh, but the a to b equals cd pattern i'd be looking for a bearish reversal candle to confirm that so that's what i see when we take a look at american tower i don't want to provide you with any more information because i don't want to confuse you i think that's that's the clarity that at least i see here inside of american tower and i hope that helps you out so thanks so much for listening as always and the question michael w from uh, Harrisonburg, Virginia, wants to take a look at natural gas for a potential bottom. So as we take a look at the natural gas contract out here, give me a moment, we'll get over to the futures contract. Uh, where does Stevie have that? Natural gas, natural gas, here we go. So we take a look at natural gas. We're going to be uh, sliding right into the December contract, but we're going to take a look at November right now, which is still the active contract, and price hits support. So support was $4.92. That was the bottom of its bullish structured profile. 
You can see a little descending trend line that is formed up here. So that says what price should do, since price has held support, is bounce up into it. That would really take us to the top of the daily profile. And that's at $5.38. Now, in the case of natural gas, this formed a top. This formed a Rhodes Minton indicator top. So I'm going to pull over the white background chart so we can see that pattern. Price is pulled back to support. If uh, Mike, if if price were to fail in holding 492, then that would suggest a pull back to its breakout level 460. So to the extent you're looking for a long trade to get in, which it looks like you are, then price has held support. The question becomes now, was that level of support confirmed as a bottom? What do you mean by that, Stevie? What I mean is, and you know what I mean. We go take a look at our short-term time frame charts out here. We look for bottom signals. In the futures contracts, I've got 10-minute charts. I've got 15-minute charts. The 10-minute chart just shows price pulling back to support the bottom of its profile. Okay, fine. No topping pattern, no bottoming pattern. In the case of the 15-minute chart, testing its oscillator and change line, which is green, that's bullish. Uh, TD9 count potentially on the 30-minute time frame. So that says we could see natural gas pull back and test 498. Uh, this is Steve Rhodes with TFN. We get back to this break. We'll finish taking a look at natural gas for Mike in Virginia. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the 30-minute time frame chart for natural gas out here. Michael in Virginia is looking for an entry area. And uh, so because of the TD9 count pattern, 
that we've got out here. And we're going to get that confirmation in about six minutes as long as price closes above. And it's trading above it right now, $5.04. We're at 505, so it's us. You know, it's not a, it's not above it by a ton. But if we do get above that, that's going to give you bar number nine. Now, what should occur there, uh, Michael, is a retracement back to about the 498 level. Whether or not that's worth it to you to to wait for that, I don't know. Uh, but what I would also suggest, though, is maybe it's best to actually pay higher a higher entry price. If I look at a five hour time frame chart, it's got wave number seven, that's peak G because he's listening in. So I've got another peak G out here. Uh, and, but what price has done is run right into resistance that red oscillator and change line. That's at 509. You really wanna see price close above that. We can see even on the four hour time frame chart, which has a uh, TD, this is, even though it shows a TD nine count, uh, if this bar closes at two o'clock, it's going to negate that pattern. But the point that I wanted to make to you, Michael, is price has found resistance at that oscillator and change line. This says, go ahead and get into the trade if price closes above 508 out there. So that's what you're looking at. Depends whether you're an aggressive trader, a conservative trader looking for some type of confirmation. But those are the numbers for natural gas out there. So how are we going to end our day, folks? What can I provide you with that's going to assist us? Um, I don't know. We've really kind of covered everything out here. Let's uh, take a look at the uh, what I want to take a look at real quickly for you. Let's get to those. Um, here's the A to B equals CD patterns that are currently ongoing for the ES, the NQ, and the Dow Equity Future Contract. The ES targeting 45.22 next. The NQ, if it can clear 15.391, that's the 1.272 expansion of its A to B equals CD pattern suggests to move to 15.610. And the Dow is headed up to 34. Uh, 35,455 level. But let's not forget the type of market that we're trading in is nothing more right now than a consolidation. But if these consolidations fail, we're going to have some very large moves to the upside. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. And uh, Tom O'Brien show to take us on home. I'll be back with you tomorrow on wonderful Wednesday. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks.